Hi everyone. Welcome once again to Reasons Now Told, video blog by Ray Behenting of RB Sugbo Game Foul Technology. Topics discussed here are from the online course Practical Science of the Game Foul taught at Advanced Game Foul Academy. Now, for today's topic, here's your host. Our topic today is achieving good substance. Substance of game foul is its genotype or its genetic composition. It is important because substance dictates form and function of the game foul. An ideal genotype is either pure or heavy with the traits you desire to constitute your bloodlines type. The ideal substance will enable the characteristics you want in your game foul to manifest. In order for it to fulfill its function. One vital step is to purify or fix these traits. Once you have identified the characteristics you want in your game foul, and you have acquired your seed foul, you may now proceed to further purifying and fixing said characteristics. The common practice of purifying traits is inbreeding. However, inbreeding minimizes genetic variations, thus it increases the risk of inbreeding depression. Because of this, you might as well avoid inbreeding. Anyway, inbreeding is not the only way of purifying desirable traits. You can purify good traits without resorting to inbreeding. You can purify traits even without inbreeding, and there are advantages to it. You can make desirable traits homozygous or predominant by selective breeding, by positive assortative mating or mating like to like of unrelated individuals. If you do this, you reduce the risk of unseen identical battle alias as in the case of related individuals. However, because you select for the desired traits you are nonetheless assured that these traits are common in the individuals you mate, and can become homozygous or preponderant even if these individuals are not related. In game foul breeding the word pure is often used to describe purity of bloodline such as pure possum sweater or pure Sanford yellow legged hatch. One meaning of pure is pure of a bloodline. But there is another and better meaning of the word pure. Pure of a trait or characteristic. So what really is pure? In reality being pure of a name is nothing. In true breeding being pure of the good traits is everything. When a real breeder say that an individual is bred pure, it means it is pure of particular traits that are typical of the breed. This is the kind of purity that makes the substance or genetic composition of the game foul desirable. In breeding and genetics, definitely there is pure. Pure of particular traits. So. The way to achieving good substance is to purify or fix in your bloodline the traits you desire. You can do this by repeatedly and continuously mating individuals that possess the traits you desire. It is not important whether these individuals are related or not. Indeed, it is better if they are not related so the offspring are not inbred. The important thing is that the offspring possess the traits you want in your bloodline. This topic is discussed thoroughly in the course Practical Science of the Game Fowl. What are you waiting for? Enroll now and breed the game fowl you want.